you guys can see, I know what I look like. <laughs> Often I get mistaken for Middle Eastern. Usually before I talk. I don't know if it's the beard or the really loud pocket watch I have. But it tends to make them nervous. But sometimes I really want to play into it, you know? Like throw on like a full burka and a turban. Just run into a Whole Foods. Scare the last little bit of racism out of them. Fucking up my uh, my daily life. <laughs> Going to Home Depot. Like, now I spare the hundred pounds of fertilizer for my yard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it's almost a daily occurrence anymore. Like we got a new guy at work, and uh, he walks in. I'm you know, sitting at my desk, and he walks up to me, and he's like, Middle Eastern? Not. Uh, how are you doing? What's your name? Straight to that. I looked at him and I was like, Midwestern. <laughs> so I, I followed his line of questioning. He's like, Spanish? No, Filipino. The Spanish of the East. <laughs> Alright, gotcha, man. What's your last name? He goes, Zandos. No oh, shit, really? The Spanish of the East? Alright, gotcha. So a few weeks go by, and uh, he comes up to me and he's like, Man, you heard about that explosion in, in Palestine? He's like, Bro, again. Midwestern. He's like, No, Palestine, Ohio. Oh, shit. So, uh, she's not standing up with me right now, but if she was my wife, you can easily tell that I married out of my league. No, really. Like, uh, if she was MLB, I would be T-ball. She'd be out there just like, knocking him out of the park. And I'm sitting there like, Coach, will you put the ball back on there for me? But, uh, you know, she's, uh, she's stuck with me through a lot. You know, uh, when we first started dating, I was in high school, and uh, I did wrestling. So I had shaved head, shaved face, clean cut. I looked like I was ready for the military, or for prison. <laughs> Neither one was far off. But uh, season ended, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to normal. I'm gonna start growing out my beard, keep the head shaved, and uh, with a full beard and a shaved head, I look like I'm getting ready to put up a cross <laughs> or take down a building. <laughs> Mustache. I look like I'm gonna pull you over. I'm not allowed 500 feet of school. But uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Uh, this is the look that you get when your parents have you at 40. I was my dad realizing he still had to pull out. either, but sat there and I was like, all right, Dad, you know, uh, I'll, I'll believe it, because he, he then tries to say that uh, I was planned. So I go, let's do the math on that. You guys are both Catholic, so there's no condoms or birth control. That's half the planning. And there's a six-year gap between me and my other brother. Math 
ain't math in here, Dad. That's adding up to a mistake. Thank you guys, that's my time.